Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, listen, today's gonna be a little different uh, video than normal. Normally I do a piano tutorial on a song. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at Ableton Live and using click tracks and using loops. Now below, there's a link below that's gonna give you access to over 80 loops and a template with click tracks. Um, that's gonna basically, you just gotta click open it up in Ableton and you can just drag and drop. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Uh, there's also a video included in that link that's going to give you a more in-depth view of Ableton and some of the features that I use on a weekly basis. Okay, now listen, this, this is 100% free, but I am going to include my cash tag below. If you would like to donate to this channel, please do. It's going to help the channel grow, help me get some, uh, do, get some upgrades to some gear. So I would very much appreciate it. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my latest videos. And I want to thank all of you out there. Uh, we have hit over 1,000 subscribers and I appreciate Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that this template is going to work with Ableton uh, version 10. So you need to have Ableton 10 for this to work. Um, and you can have either the intro version of Ableton, which is $99, or the standard version. Now, the standard version will have a few more features that I would recommend. But if you're getting started and you've never used Ableton before, the intro version is $99. Bucks. Buy that, get started, and if you're ready to upgrade, just go ahead and do that. But you will need Ableton Live version 10 for this template to work. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this uh, video and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to use click tracks and loops in Ableton Live. Let's go. All right guys, so here we are on the, on the laptop now and we're gonna show you how to use this thing and show you how it works. So um, like I said, I have the files below and this is what it's gonna look like when you, it'll be a zip file. Once you unzip it, you'll have this folder called Ableton Starter Pack. So we're gonna open that up and then you have the template that I have. Uh, I made for you guys. So just double click that and let's open it up and let's see what's inside. All right, so inside the template, you're gonna see, um, I have two songs already put in, um, what, what I would consider like a fast and a slow or medium song. And then over here, you're gonna have a, a count in fast, a count in slow, and then you have an alter. Uh, I use this for my alter time. So when I have my set in, you know, I have my like three or four songs and then I'll have an alter um, just a click track ready to go. Um, just depending on what it, you know, how it is an altar song, you never know what it's going to be until the end. So, you know, if we get into altar service, I'm like, oh, we're going to do, you know, Holy Spirit for altar. So then I'll change the BPM here to 70 or 72. Um, so for that song. So whatever the song is, I just change the BPM here and then I have a click track for it already. Now I'm going to turn these down just a little bit because uh, it'll be a little bit loud for the video. So turn all these down, the volumes here. Now listen, uh, in, the, in the video that uh, comes with this starter pack, I'm going to have an in-depth um, you know, walkthrough of, of every, everything that's in this starter pack and what all these things do and some features that you know, will help you uh, when you're using this. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how this thing works. So we're going to take the first song, Lord You're Good. It's 130 beats per minute. So I'm just going to go over here to uh, my loop pack 1.0, and this is what comes in that uh, the file that you're going to download and it has all of these loops and I have them listed by BPM and then some by name too. So you can see some of the names, some are just, you know, generic. So they'll just say loop, but here's one. I lift up my hands, kingdom come. Um, so I'll show you a couple of, of these and, you know, um, show you how they work. So, uh, let's, let's use, uh, here, Lord, you're good. So let's, let's just start with here with this one here. So this one says happy TC. It's 173 beats per minute. Okay. So I'm going to drag it and drop it up here. Now this loop is at 173, but this song is 130 beats per minute. So what Ableton will do is take this loop and say, all right, uh, 173, we'll make that 130 by warping it. And here's the feature right here that, that shows warp. So when I play this, one, two, it's going to play two, it at three, 130 four. beats per minute. And then my count in is going to count us in, and then the click track is going to start. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. So there you go. There's Lord, you're good. Uh, apologize for the the keyboard there. It's just a it's a small MIDI keyboard. I just want to give you some examples of how this works. So let's say I want to do another song. Um, uh, let's just you know I don't know whatever song it is. Let's say um, let's say Breakthrough uh, by Eddie James. So I'm gonna 
Um, go up to the top here. I'm just hitting Command R, and I'm going to rename this um, Breakthrough. And Breakthrough is at 147. Okay, and so you'll get really good at knowing the BPM for song when you use this, <laughs> just random information. Now, the important thing up here is the name is, you can put whatever you want here, but this is the important part. It has to say one, uh, not 147, but whatever the BPM is of the song, space BPM space four slash four, or if it's six, eight it needs to say six, eight, uh, or, but you just make sure that that, that says that, and that will tell Ableton, Hey, change whatever the, the tempo of this, like 173, change it to 147. So now one, two, one, two, three, four. So you get the idea. Okay, so that's breakthrough. Now I use that at, you know, I use the same loop for two different songs. That's what's so powerful about this is you can, if you like this, now this is one of my favorite loops, uh, this happy TC loop. I love this loop. Um, so I use it for multiple songs. But if I don't want to use that one, um, there's there's a ton of different loops here that you can use. Now, if you're using Ableton, the intro version, I would recommend using something close to the beats per minute. So if it's 147, use something around, you know, 147, like 150 or whatever. Um, and, and that'll help, you know, so you take this 150 loop, drag and drop, and then you have it. One, two, one, two, Same thing. three, four. Okay. So you get the idea. So there's breakthrough, uh, and with a different loop here. So that's, what's powerful about this. You just drag and drop everything you want. Okay. So that's, you're going to be your, um, you know, and if you want to create, like, let's create a whole worship set. So let's say the first song is Breakthrough and let's use that uh, 173 beats per minute. Okay, so let's let's create another song. Um, and what I'm going to do is hit Command I and create another song here. So there's that. I'm going to change and this song is going to be uh, let's do uh, In Jesus Name. Okay, and uh, I'll do that at 107. Okay, so I think it's at originally maybe at 105, but I used to do it a couple of BPM faster. It just feels better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fast count in. I'm going to hit Command C, copy it, and paste it. And the same thing with the click here. I'm going to hit Command C and paste it. Now this song, actually I'm going to use a different click. I'm going to use this number two click here. Okay. Now this this template will come with, um, I think, uh, three or four different click tracks. Uh, actually, four, uh, three of them. So you have one here, two, and then three. So number one, number two, and then this full four click. Well, and then if you consider the 6A, that will be another one. So there'll be four different click tracks here. Okay, so this one sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's in Jesus' name, that click track. So that fits a little bit better with the song, so I'll use that one. You can use either one you want, whatever feels better, whatever's going to help your drummer the most. Okay, so um, then over here, um, in Jesus name, I have a, a clip right here, so I can use that one here. And this is more of the, one, uh, two, the one, Israel two, version of it. Three, four. So you get the idea. Okay. So there's a, uh, a, tr a track or a click for that and a loop for that, but there's several. So you can use, you know, you can just drag and drop any of these in. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so in Jesus' name. And then, so there's, you know, you have two songs there. And then How Great Is Our God, you could use that one. Uh, that one's at 80 beats per minute. So let's just find one close to 80. Um, and then let's use this worship one. I like that one. So we'll use that one. One, two. So How Great Is one, Our God. Two, three, four. Okay, so you got how great is a God? 80 beats per minute. Well, let's say you want to do it. Uh, let's say let's add another song. So I hit Command I again, and now I'm going to change this one. Let's do Waymaker. We'll do that one 65 beats per minute. Okay, so now and then I'm just going to take the slow count in, and I'll use the slow count in uh, for songs that are uh, 80 beats per minute and below. 
And then I'll use the fast one, obviously, for anything above 80. Okay, so now we have Waymaker. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this one, this song is so slow that that count in is, I don't want like one, two, one, two, three, four. I just want to hear one, two, three, four. So when I click that, that file pops up down here. You have these two flags right here. So I'll take that bottom flag and drag it up. And this flag tells Ableton, hey, um, let's start the audio file here. So you have, uh, like I said, that marker, and then you have this one here, and this is the loop marker. So this one will tell you where to loop. Of course, on a count in, you don't want it to loop. You just want it to count you in and stop. So then I'll hit that. One, two, three, so Then you're a way maker. Okay, so again, sorry for the cheesy piano playing. Just a quick MIDI keyboard that I wanted to show you how this works. So then I'll just grab a, a loop for Waymaker, and I have a bunch at 65 here, so you can just whatever you like. Let's try that one. That's nice. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I have a whole worship set that you can put together in probably less than five minutes, okay? And then you just, you can color code these, you know, uh, a lot of times I would, I code, uh, you know, I like I like the colors to be different for whatever, you know, the song so I can just kind of see where they where it breaks up or whatever. So you can, you know, you can just right click and make whatever, you know, whatever color you want for these songs. That way you can see what they are, whatever. You can even space them out, put some blank spaces in between them. And these over here, you just copy and paste and it makes it super, super easy. OK, um, <clears throat> so there there are there, are, like I said, over 80 loops here and there are some really, really cool ones. Uh, some of my favorites are just the generic worship uh, loops. Um, so these are, that's a cool loop. And some of them have names of the songs next to them. So Fire, for instance. Um, uh, Kingdom Come is a really cool one. And if you ever want to, you know, if you want to see the names, see if they're here, you just type in. So let's type in Kingdom Come. So there's Kingdom Come. So that's a really cool loop for Kingdom Come. Okay. Uh, and then uh, break every chain, you know, I lift up my hands. This is a cool loop. Okay. And, and so on and so forth. So you just kind of go through, uh, I've got some shout loops in here and they'll lab label shout. Okay. And then I've even has like uh, this kind of Kojic bump here. So uh, tons and tons of loops here. And all you're going to do is drag and drop, okay? And there are very few. There, there are a couple loops that will not change uh, tempo. And I believe, uh, let's do this uh, 122. I think this is one of them right here. So it says 122. And if that doesn't show up in the suggested BPM, you just have to click it. And I'll show you what it sounds like uh, out, out of the time. So it's not going to put it at 147. One, two, one, Obviously, two. that's not right. So... What you do is you click on that one and then you just have to type in 122 and tell Ableton, hey, this this is actually at 122 beats per minute. One, two, and now it's going to show up two, in time. Three. I think there are maybe one or two loops in the in the Ableton starter pack uh, that you can download below that that do that. But that's all that's all going to be mentioned um, in the video uh, that you can download with this Ableton starter pack. But I wanted to show you guys how powerful this is and how quickly you can start using click tracks in your church. Um, like I said, everything is in here. It comes uh, with all these count ins and uh, clicks and loops. So you just drag and drop what you need and, and that's it. So I hope this helps you guys and I hope you'll uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and like this video, share this video. And uh, if you wanna donate to the channel, I have my cash tag. Uh, put below there and uh, in the description and also uh, probably across the bottom of the page here. Uh, but I would appreciate anything that you guys want to donate to help the channel grow. And I appreciate your support. And uh, please share this video and let me know if you're going to use this, if you're going to, uh, and once you do start using it, let me know how it's going. If, if you have any issues, please let me know. And I'd love to help you guys as much as I can. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.